Welcome, soldier, to the training base of the Field, Forest, and Meadows unit of the Rabbit Army. I'm your drill sergeant, and I'm in charge of training the recruits. Soldier, your first duty is to learn how to control the camera. Grab that mouse and move the pointer to the right side of the screen. That was poor. I repeat, grab that mouse and move the pointer to the right side of the screen. Excellent! Execute the same action on the left side of the screen. That was poor. That was poor. Very good! You can also perform these actions using the keyboard. Use the arrow keys. Good. Soldier, your next duty is to rotate and tilt the camera. To rotate, press the left and right mouse buttons or the middle mouse button and hold them down. When you move the mouse toward the left and the right, you can rotate the camera. When you move it up and down, you can tilt the camera. Give it a try, soldier. Very good. If you have a mouse with a scrolling wheel, you can use the wheel to change the camera zoom level. As an alternative, you can use the plus and minus keys. Execute that order, soldier. Well done! In the lower left corner of the screen, you will see the map. You can use the map to issue quick movement orders with the click of a mouse. On the map, our units will be shown in green, and the enemies will be in red. Soldier, let me introduce our most effective unit, the light tank. Move the mouse pointer over the unit and select it by clicking the left mouse button. The green bar under the unit shows its armor level. If that bar goes down to zero, that unit has been destroyed. The red circle you can see around the units shows their maximum shooting range. You can find more information about the units in the information list at the bottom of your screen. Now click with the left mouse button next to the unit to eliminate the highlighting. To move the unit, you will have to select it again I'm using the left mouse button. Assignment. Then move the mouse pointer over area 1 and press the right mouse button. Target has been programmed into the onboard computer. Very good. Now attack the enemy. Click on the enemy unit with the right mouse key. Fire at will. Excellent! The next job is learning how to implement the unit's special functions with military precision. The light tank can dig its way down into the earth. This gives it better protection while of course limiting its mobility. To use this special function, 
You have to select the corresponding symbol in order menu or press the X key. Yes? As far as I'm concerned, we can start. I'm waiting for further instructions. Understood. Tanks on the ground. Good. When you want to deactivate the special function, you will have to click on the symbol again or press the X key. We are digging our way out. Very good. Select the commander's vehicle in question and move it to area four. I'm here. At the location. I'll take a look around as per orders. Well done. Click on the corresponding symbol to request a bomber, a and then select the target you want to destroy. The Air Force is on its way. I've almost reached the target. Excellent! I need to draw your attention to the fact that requesting bombers will cost you strategic points. The points at your disposal are displayed in the commands list. Select the artillery unit and move it to area 2. <laughs> Already on the way! The artillery can only fire after its supports have been lowered. Click on the corresponding symbol to prepare the artillery for firing. I'm all ears. Yes? Listening. I just let my feet dangle. The yellow circle Excuse that you see me. marks the minimum range of the artillery. It can't fire within this circle. Your next task is the shelling of a target. Select the attack symbol in the command menu, or press the A button and select a target within range. I will reduce everything to rubble. Maybe I'll leave a few shrubs standing. Good. Your next duty consists of repairing this damaged unit and replenishing it with supplies. Highlight the unit and move it to Area 5. Waiting for assignment. Listening? <whistles> yes, I'm listening. Awaiting instructions. En route. I'll go take a look. Already on the way. Now select the repairs trailer and then click with the right mouse button on the damaged unit. As you can see, the unit's condition is steadily improving. You can also perform this action with the help of the command menu. Now mark the fuel trailer, click the appropriate symbol in the command menu, and then click with the left mouse button on the unit. Resupply the unit with new ammunition. Very good! Now I'm going to show you how to use your tow trucks. We can move units with the help of the tow trucks. Select the tow truck. 
Move it and yourself to Area 5. Well, I was going there anyway. Steering for the target. I love switching positions. Heading directly for target. I'm off like a herd of turtles. Navigation system program. I'll have a look around there. Already as good as at the target. Now click on the appropriate symbol in the command menu and then select the trailer to attach it to the tow truck. Who or what am I supposed to tow? Excellent! Tow the trailer to Area 1 and unhook it by clicking again on the appropriate symbol in the command menu. I flit, I flit, I flee, and then I fly. I'm completely on course. All on up. Good. We need new armor. Select this rack and try to move it. Oh, man. As you can see, this unit is incapable of motion. Now select the tow truck and click on the rack with the right mouse button. I'm bored. Ready to tow the town. Very good. Now pull the unit to area one and repair it using the repair trailer. I'm driving already. I flit, I flit, I flee, and then I fly. I'm completely on course. I'm gonna expect to get paid for my mileage here. Well, I was going there anyway. Steering for the target. I love switching positions. Heading directly for target. I'm off like a herd of turtles. Navigation system program. I'll have a look around there. Already as good as at the target. Hello? Houston? Anybody home? All hung up? Excellent! Soldier, before each mission you will have the opportunity to purchase units. If you have any points left over, you can also use them during the mission to request additional units. Click on the Request Unit button in the command menu. Now you will see a menu in which you can choose one unit and a maximum of three extra pieces of equipment per unit. Select a unit and the equipment items and then click on the Request button. Move the mouse pointer to area 4 and press the left mouse key. So boys, stow everything away. We're getting close to the target point. Now I'm about to explain some important things to you, so pay attention. You can use the symbols in the upper part of the command menu to change the speed of the game. The first symbol is the pause, which you can also activate by pressing the spacebar. If you click on the next symbol, the game will proceed at normal speed. The third symbol makes the game run twice as fast as normal. The command menu also lets you control the behavior of the units. This lets us decide how the unit should react when it meets up with an enemy unit. Select the tank. Yes? The upper row is only used by battle units. You can use it to tell the gunner what to do. The first symbol means fire at will. 
That means the enemy is fired at automatically. The second symbol means return fire. In that case, the unit will only fire when it's being attacked. The third symbol is the order to hold your fire. In this mode, the unit won't fire at all. In the bottom row, you can specify how the driver's supposed to act. The second symbol means stop. The unit will not budge from its position if enemy contact occurs. The second symbol means pursue. Here, enemies will be followed as long as they're in view. The third symbol is the order to retreat. In this mode, the units will withdraw when they discover an enemy. Soldier, I have passed all my knowledge on to you. I wish you great success in your future encounters. <laughs>